Have you noticed how when you search for something on Google, you don't even have to click a website anymore? The answer is just right there at the top. That's because no-click searches are taking over. Google is actually pulling answers straight from websites and displaying them in featured snippets, knowledge panels, and local packs. So fewer people are actually visiting your website. So as a small business owner, how do you stand out when you're competing with massive brands and an algorithm that just keeps changing? The answer, local SEO. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a three-step process to make sure that your business gets found by the people who live closest to you. If you do only one thing from this video, let it be this set up and optimize your Google business profile. Google treats this like a directory for local businesses, and it's a huge ranking factor in local search results. So here's what you need to do. First things first, you need to set up and confirm your Google My Business profile. If you're not verified, your business won't even show up in search results, and that's a huge missed opportunity. Once you're in, the next step is making sure that your information is accurate. That means double checking your NAP which stands for <laughs> name, address, and phone number. And to help you remember, I created a song for you called Don't Be Napping on Your NAP. Don't be napping on your NAP. It's your name, address, phone, synergy. Get it wrong, you're playing with fate. Your Okay, sorry about that. Uh, hopefully you haven't left the video as a result of that performance, but here, here's the reality. Google hates inconsistencies. If your address is listed one way on your website and another way on your profile, it could actually hurt your rankings. After that, you wanna add as much information about your business as you can in your Google business profile. So if there's a field to fill, then you wanna be sure that you fill it. For example, you wanna set your business hours, keep them updated. If you're closing early for a holiday or maybe extending hours for a special event, make sure that your profile reflects that. Now, when it comes to categories, you wanna be as specific as you possibly can be. So if you're a wedding photographer, don't just pick photographer. Instead, go with wedding photographer or engagement photographer. The more specific you are, the better Google can match your business to the right searches. Next up is pictures and not just any pictures, right? High quality ones. People trust what they can see. So showcase your space, your products, or your team. The more visually appealing your profile is, the more engagement it gets. And that tells Google your business is worth ranking higher. And speaking of trust, customer reviews are huge. The more positive reviews you have, the better your chances of ranking above competitors. So start funneling all your happy customers straight to Google reviews. A simple, hey, would you mind leaving us a quick review can go a long way. There's even the ability to link straight to your Google profile and ask customers to add add some feedback. Also, if your business offers any special amenities like free Wi-Fi or a kid-friendly environment, add those to your profile. Details like that can make your business stand out. But most importantly, don't just set it and forget it. Keep your Google business profile fresh with new photos, promotions, and responses to reviews. Google loves businesses that stay active and it rewards them with higher rankings. After you set up your Google business profile, it's time to start thinking about your website's SEO. And most businesses already know the importance of keywords in SEO. For example, if you own a dog grooming business, you might optimize your site for something like same day mobile dog grooming. But when it comes to local SEO, you need to include your location. So instead of just same day mobile dog grooming, you'd wanna say same day mobile dog grooming in Boise, Idaho. Here's how to make sure that you rank in local search results. When it comes to choosing the right keywords for local SEO, you don't just want broad terms, right? You, you want long tail keywords. These are longer, more specific phrases 
phrases that face less competition, but still get solid traffic. So how do you find the best ones? Google's Keyword Planner is a great and also free tool to start with. Just type in some ideas related to your business, check out the search volume, and look for keywords that have lower competition, but high intent. But here's where local SEO really comes into play. You need to include your location. So instead of just targeting best maternity photographer, tweak it to something like best maternity photographer in Dallas, Texas. That way Google knows exactly where your business is and can match it with searches from people nearby. You can actually take this a step further by creating city specific landing pages on your website. So if you serve multiple areas, having dedicated pages for each city can make a huge difference in helping you rank for local searches. So instead of one generic wedding photography page, you'd have pages like wedding photography in Austin and wedding photography in San Antonio. It's an easy way to increase your visibility where it actually matters. The final step in building a strong local SEO strategy is getting local backlinks. Building local authority isn't just about optimizing your own website. It's about getting other people to talk about you on their website. It's about making sure that your business is listed and talked about in the right places. A great place to start is getting featured in local news sites or your city's chamber of commerce. Many communities have business directories or special newspapers that love highlighting small businesses. A, a simple press release or an outreach email can get you some free exposure, but it could also get you a valuable backlink to your website. Another smart move is sponsoring or collaborating with local events and charities, whether you donate a service, offer a discount, or help organize an event. It's a win-win. You support your community while also getting your business name out there. Not to mention, local event pages and nonprofit websites often link back to sponsors, which helps your SEO. Next, make sure your business is listed on all the key directories, places like Yelp or Bing places, Apple Maps, or even Yellow Pages. I thought that that was done, but apparently it's still around and it can help you with local SEO. But here's the thing, make sure your NAP or your name, address, and phone number are the same across all directories and your Google business profile. Having your business consistently listed across those platforms sends a strong signal to Google that you're legit. Do we need to play the song again or are, are we good? Okay, we'll move on. But there actually might be another way to get you more local business that you might not have thought of yet. I'm talking about connecting and collaborating with local influencers. Think about it, they already have an audience in your area and getting them to mention or review your business can instantly boost your visibility. Whether it's a blog post or a social media shout out or a collaboration, their endorsement helps build both trust and brand awareness and can drive new customers your way. Now you might hear these tips and think, but Chris, my town is too small. I can hear the objections now. My situation, my situation won't, work. won't work. It's just, it's not, just practical not practical for me. For me. You, don't you don't know my, my struggle. struggle. But before you immediately shoot down the ideas, maybe just try them, adjust them to your specific situation. In fact, being in a small town actually makes you more prominent in local search results. Think about it, there's less competition, so you're more likely likely to rank at the top when someone searches for your type of business. But even if your fears of this not working are true, you still have options. You could use near me SEO or what's known as regional SEO. So instead of focusing on just one town, optimize for your entire region. For example, a best dog groomers near Tampa Bay, Florida, or best dog groomers near Tampa Bay, another city and another city. You can even consider renting a cheap office space in the nearest big city, right? Like even if you don't fully operate out of that city, having an address there can help you show up in search results for a larger audience. So let's recap. First, you wanna optimize your Google business profile. Keep it updated, get reviews, and make sure that your info is accurate. Second, you wanna shift your SEO strategy to local keywords, right? Use city names and long tail keywords to really stand out. And then finally, build local backlinks. Partner with local influencers, get featured in directories, and collaborate with your community. If you do all of those things, you're gonna future-proof your SEO strategy and you're gonna keep all the potential algorithm updates and AI influence from really impacting your business. So here's a question for you. Are you using local SEO right now? 
drop a comment below and let me know what's working for you. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video on growing your business online. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.